All right, welcome everybody and happy Halloween. My name is Peter Del Tondo. I am your host today for the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenges. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Um, get another Master Chief appearance here on the stream. Uh, too good to pass up here on Halloween. So uh, thank you all for jumping back in. Let us know what are you dressing up as for Halloween. Um, the other half of my Master Chief costume is in Georgia right now. So uh, I'm just going to hang out with my kids. They're going to be bats. It's going to be cute and adorable. And I'm super excited about it. Um, so yeah, let us know what you guys are going to be doing in chat. Today we are going to have a lot of fun um, taking our progressive design challenge. We've been working on a live streaming app for the last couple of days and we're going to translate that over to mobile designs and we're going to talk about how you do that. Uh, a lot of people think responsive design is simply just shrinking down everything to fit on the page, but true responsive design makes you think about what it is that you have where to maybe move things for added prominence um, and, and hierarchy, and it changes. You know, For example, a, a restaurant website on mobile, most likely people are going there to look at the menu, call, or place an online order. So you wanna have those features prominent and easily accessible right off the bat. Uh, so where it might be lower on a desktop page, uh, might be tucked away down in the bottom or in a corner on mobile that should probably be one of the first things that you see because that's what people are coming there and expecting to do so you've got to think about your responsive designs more so than just shrink it down cram everything in there um, sometimes you add things sometimes you remove things it's all about that experience so i'm going to encourage you all throughout this challenge to take a look at your designs and see what you need to modify accordingly um, all right, so let's uh, let's start jumping into stuff. Uh, if you are new and have not yet signed up for the challenge, don't worry, you can still jump in and uh, uh, partake. Uh, if you go to behance.net slash challenge slash XD, uh, you can come on over here and you can uh, join the community as well as sign up for the challenge. Uh, this will link you to Discord and I'll post that link again here in a second. But each day you can come down and get the starter file watch the video either the live uh, show here or you can catch the replay um, these will get posted on a behance live and youtube afterwards uh, you can also scroll down and check out uh, i did the last two weeks of hosting i think we've had uh, andrea and uh, sam and melody and howard as well the last few weeks and you can jump into any of those challenges and partake so really really cool um, and stone I, I haven't done audiobooks but maybe i should the smooth smooth sounds uh, so let's uh, let me post that discord link for you as well. It's a bit.ly slash XD discord uh, And then when you come over here to the discord channel uh, What you're gonna want to check out particularly is this feedback and the current challenge channel And so over here you're gonna see a ton of people posting their projects and what that looks like um, Link to your Behance project link to the Adobe XD share link um, and you can see there's already so many great things going on here. We've got Joss, one of our awesome mentors, um, really breaking down some of these screens and pointing out things that can be helped and improved. So really, really awesome. And make sure you jump in there and give people your thoughts and feedback as well. Um, and there's some great stuff in here. So let's, uh, let's jump around a little bit. So going now into XD. So our prompt today is gonna be to design the mobile view for our live stream video player. Think about how the web player from challenge three might change and alter on mobile. Um, you know, if we need to expand or hide things like chat. Uh, and, you know, here again, it's not simply a matter of just resizing elements on the screen. There's more, more about this experience that we need to think through. So yesterday we kind of set up a little bit of a foundation here. So we've got what the desktop version of our screen looks like and we take a look here we get to see the user uh, let me correct this I was incorrect and it's only one T uh, and then we come over we've got our our screen itself and on hover we can add things like the play and pause buttons and whatnot and then coming over here we've got our chat uh, again remember to differentiate that uh, I forgot to do that after the stream uh, we can see what it is that they're playing. Um, we can go back and see, you know, past uh, uh, past videos and streams. Go to an about tab, etc. Uh, so let's let's think about, you know, how does how is this going to work when we 
uh, come over here and we build a mobile experience for this. Now, there's a couple things to think through. So for one, I'm gonna wanna bring over this video here and I'm actually gonna tuck that into the back and we'll shrink this down and we can actually, we can lock this. I know my width is gonna be 375. Um, and so we've got something like this here. Now this leaves a lot of room for us for uh, our chat. Uh, and so what we could do is we could bring this over and we could tuck our chat more or less about here. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. We'll probably pull it down to about this point because we're gonna wanna leave room for the home screen indicator and we can pull this over as well. So now we're going kind of edge to edge on the screen. Now I might wanna have some information here. Uh, so what I wanna do is include some things. Um, we're gonna do a couple of items differently. I don't necessarily wanna have live be as, as, as big or as loud of an indicator here. Um, I might wanna have something a little bit more subtle. I, I don't, I have a smaller viewport here now for the video content. So as we think about that, I don't necessarily want to, um, to, to cover that up and take away from that little bit of space. So I might come down here and I might do something like just creating a small little indicator. Um, let's make that eight by eight. And I've got my, my red preset and I might actually bring this down to like four by four. And I could do something here where I say then live. And let's bring this down just a hair. We don't need that to be quite as large. All right, so we've got live. I might also want to have some things in here like, again, how many people are viewing. And I, I could do that here in chat, but I probably want to make a little bit more use of this space. So again, I might remove that area. And then over here, maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put the viewers over here on the side. And so we can still get a, a good glimpse of, of what that looks like. And you know what, we're using this, this style and pattern, so I'm gonna do that here. And we might be able to reduce some stuff. So maybe here I could say 900. You know, these are things you'd have to test and play around with, but let's just try out a couple of things. Pull that over on the side. All right, great. Now, I still wanna know some information about the streamer. So I know that there's 900 people in here. I know that they're live, but I still wanna know this kind of information. So as I come down, I might pull something like this in. All right, uh, let's maybe bring down this section a bit. I can just quickly at the moment delete some stuff. All right, and then from here, you know, we've, we've got this information. So we know we've got the stream name, the type of game, and maybe some, uh, some tags. Now, I don't necessarily need to bring over the artwork for this. I think that's gonna be a little bit overkill because Again, we're utilizing a different space. And so I'm actually gonna pull this off to the side for a moment, and I'm gonna bring all of these type sizes down. Um, these just don't need to be as large for this size of a screen. Um, I can bring all of this down a bit and simplify things. I can even bring these tags down a little bit more. And let's condense the height. And we can even bring oops, these in a little. And I know this isn't perfect, but just to kind of quickly get a couple of things here going. All right. So we can pull these in. And let me know if you guys have questions along the way here. All right, so let's pull out a couple more things from chat. I just wanna have this be a little bit shorter. All right, that should work well. 
So now I've got this. And I might even, again, thinking about how can I reduce space on stuff. Maybe we put this right here in the bottom left of the video. And then I can come over here. I can pull all this information up. Pull this down a little bit. and we've got something nice and clean now. So there's a couple other things that we wanna take a look at. We've got some other features that we had yesterday. So we've got things like the ability to share or perhaps even report a user. So we could add these things in as well. And maybe these are items that show up you know, when we tap on the video. And I'm gonna make these white on top up there. And one other item that I'm gonna look for and Jason, yes, there is a band called Voxtrot, and when I was like 14 or something, I really liked uh, the song Something More, or it has something in it. I really liked it, and then I kind of just adopted that as my username for most of my video games and stuff. So good, uh, good call, that's where it came from. Start of Something, that was the name of the song. Um, good old teenage years. All right, so we've got something here. Uh, I'm going to come in, I'm going to search rotate here in Nucleo, and this is going to be great because I can now look through and I'm going to look for something to kind of like device swap. Um, this is probably where I'm going to go. Uh, let's go a little bit larger maybe. I think we're using 16. So you know what, let's keep this. This will work for the moment. I'm going to pull this over and we're going to do that screen rotate somewhere over here in that bottom corner. All right, so I've kind of got the basis of things here. Again, swap out all this content so that it feels more unique. Um, but there's a couple things that we can now do. And, and if we take a look at this, we've stripped out a lot of content. So on this page, you know, we should probably add in like subscribe. That'll be another important thing, actually. I'm going to throw that back in there. Um, I might keep the chat viewers. Perhaps I, I, I put back what we initially had. Um, so if I pull this out and grab these elements, I kind of like that idea. Oops. And again, I know that's not necessarily spaced evenly and right, but this is a really, really important item because this is how the streamer makes their money. So. I want to add something like that back in there um, and we've got that capability now I think that works a lot better um, let's see are you gonna start on some mob project what do you mean by mob project uh, also please Android's first iOS design uh, for that I would check out both Android and iOS developer guidelines there's a lot of things to know in terms of sizing, spacings um, that are really, really important. Like what's the touch point? You know, 44 pixels is generally considered like the safe range to tap on a screen, things of that nature. And it's just really good to get familiarized with those. Um, I'll post that in the pro tips channel in uh, Discord after the stream. So in case I forget, somebody remind me and I'll go, go hunt that information down. Um, but yeah, here like on this screen, just while I'm watching the streamer, I don't need to be distracted by you know past videos or about them but what we want to do next is then create something that when i click on the user avatar uh or on their name that it does take me to more of a profile page for them and so we would build something out there separately and maybe that profile page looks something more like we we would maybe even rearrange some of these items so let's maybe take these and move them to the side uh, and then we might come over here, have something like this. Maybe we get rid of chat because we don't need that at that stage. I'm going to just group these, whoops, I'm going to group these items up. Maybe we pull these over here. And I, I can also get rid of some of these icons because my thought is at this stage, you're just kind of seeing what's going on with their stream. If you tap on this, it would take you into this screen. Uh, so in some ways this kind of would go in this order and then down below we might have more of this content 
we might have something like this here and that content then is easily found and we could like add in more information about them maybe there's a profile section up top there's a lot of cool things that we could do um so awesome and jason good taste in music uh, all right, so another couple of things that we want to think through is we might have some instances where when I chat, I don't want to be distracted by some of this information. So we might have a version of this that when the user is clicking in, in chat and typing, and we might say, uh, can't believe that. And let's just say we modify this text when we're, when we're typing down here, um, might have to play around with what that is maybe when they're typing, this section kind of reverses out. We could do something like that. Uh, and then we could probably, I'm gonna push all of this stuff to the back. Arrange, send it back. And what we could do is we could just pull this section all the way up. And I'll just kind of, again, quickly dupe some of these, but you know, maybe the focus is that I want to just be concentrated on chat when I'm engaged in that thing. I don't need to see this content, but when that goes away, you know, I could tap back up and get access to that information. Um, another item, as we talked about with the, uh, the, the, the change of orientation, um, when we think about video and mobile content, there's probably going to be an artboard, uh, where let's come over here. We'll do iPhone XS, we're gonna move that to this direction and I'm gonna grab this content here. And I wanna grab just the, this. And so we might come in, some, some phones will blow this out and fill the space a little bit more so we might lose a little bit, but uh, the other alternative is gonna be that it comes in a little and we just have like black on the outsides so we could do something like that. Now, we can have a view like this, and this is really simple. It's super focused. I'm really just getting to watch and enjoy that streamer. But what I might have, oops. I'm gonna change the icons later because I apparently can't grab these here on the stream easily enough. All right, let's center this content up. But what we might want to do is I want to see all of the chat. Uh, and so maybe what we could do is we could slide this content over and I'm going to come over here and I want to grab this chat so that I can interact with it when I want. And so I might pull it down here into the bottom. I'm just going to pull this up. And so now I get to interact with chat on the side. And there's different ways we could do this. We might wanna say, hey, center the video a little bit more since we are cutting off. Um, we could also do something where, and this is where when, when folks ask like, how do you design, what does that look like? It's this, it, I do artboards and artboards and I test out things and I see what works and doesn't work. Cause I might come in here now and go, all right, what would this look like if I did an opacity overlay so I can still see a bit in the background and work and i'm going to test it out and see and a lot of times it's just trial and error to see what you like and what what works and, and doesn't work um and yes there's there's a uh, ui kits for all of these i believe if you come up here and go to ui kits um there's apple ios google material and microsoft window ui kits so you can go download these and have all of the starter assets as well things like typing on the keyboard and whatnot there's some really cool features over there um, and then real quick, I think we can knock out one more screen here. Um, maybe we do something where, what does this look like if I click on share? And maybe what we do is we do a pop-up down here on the bottom. Um, maybe I even overlay the whole screen here. And let's just come in with one, like one of our dark colors. Uh, and then I could make this an opacity. So maybe I go to about 65%. I'm gonna do a duplicate of that one more maybe down here I'll pump that all the way up and then in here I could grab some stuff and maybe I want to uh, I want to do some reviews so I'm gonna do this really quick but I would do an icon and I might say copy link 
and then I might do share on Facebook, share on Twitter, etc. And we just throw a quick little icon over here on the side. And so that'll give you guys something else to animate. And again, the more interactive you can make this prototype feel, the more realistic it is. So if I can tap around and say I want to share, and then it comes up with a list of options, that's the kind of stuff that's really going to uh, to help. So um, with that, I want to jump into a couple of reviews here in our last few minutes. Uh, I think there's just been some awesome projects coming in, like really one of the best overall that I've seen. Uh, you guys are really getting into this one. So this one, I just want to touch on really quick. Uh, I know you changed some feedback from yesterday and got rid of the red um, and went to this orange color. So I would actually keep the red that you have here that worked really well for live. Red means live in terms of streaming and broadcasting. What I would do is maybe this, the indicators, the see all, and maybe the, the alert up here. I might change that to like um, more of a kind of neon gaming green or a blue or a purple or a pink that would work really well because you want the live stream to stand out and be on its own right now it, it all just kind of feels the same but other than that you're crushing this project i think it's fantastic um okay let's go over to this one uh so we've got another service here awesome this is showing the uh the tags underneath this is great uh i can see who's streaming what they're streaming some recommended channels okay fantastic top games this is looking great this is looking really good awesome cool i i don't have much to critique on i think it's pretty solid maybe a little bit smaller on the type particularly up top and maybe search you could just have like an icon over here login i would probably do a button um and then i kind of feel like this color scheme feels inconsistent with the last Ooh, this looks really good. Uh, with the last screen, I guess I see it. I, I'm pulled in more to like the red, so I don't know why that gold kind of stood out to me. Um, but anyway, here, this is looking great. Follow, subscribe. I would put more emphasis on subscribe because that's the financial gain for streamers rather than the follow. The follow is a little bit more of a secondary. Um, but overall here, this is great. I love the, the tags. This is really popular with uh, streamers on Twitch and Mixer to, to have these sections of, of information. Chat looks great. I love I love seeing real names in here. We got Sam, Howard, uh, Melody, fantastic. Yeah, this is looking really good. All right, on to the next one. Um, so over here, I think you're getting the foundations of everything that's going on. Make sure that you're cropping your images in a little bit so that you don't get that border. Um, I think this can be cleaned up a little bit uh, and look a little bit better. And then here, this is where use different content um, because this is like a lot in the face with, with the pink color, but then it's also the same thing every time. Um, but I do like how you've differed some of the information. I would just swap out those graphics so that it's a little bit more unique. But foundationally, we're getting there on that project. Um, again, that update to the Blizzard project from yesterday, this is looking really good. I do feel like the chat could use a little bit of work and this navigation. Uh, I think other elements of this page are just a little bit stronger and those are some of the weaker areas. So I would mess around with those a little bit and try to dial that in a little. You know, I think Blizzard has a little bit more of an electric blue. It's a little bit more vibrant and kind of fun. Um, I think you can pull that in there. Um, and then chat, same thing. I'm guilty of it too. I didn't take the time to swap out and make that content different but it makes a huge, huge difference. So do as I say, not as I do. And in this case, just uh, you know, mix up that content a little bit. It'll look way, way, way better. Um, and I, I will promise to take the time and update my project as well. Uh, okay, and then let's go to the next. I don't know what's different between those, but they look great. All right, I think we've got time for maybe one more. Um, this is great. I, I love the process here and seeing it in the Behance project to be able to see the updates here. This is really, really great. Super clean. I'd love to see some kind of navigation up here. Um, that's probably the only thing that I kind of feel is missing. And the logo type, it just can't be seen. So maybe move that over to the side. Um, but this is great. I love the, the streamers here. 
this might be almost a little bit too call out like the white stands out so so much on the page um, but it's looking really good really clean here super excited for cyberpunk 2077 that's going to be a good game um, and then coming down again just this is so clean and simple um, i really love how this works i might move the like and subscribe up top uh, just because i do feel like it gets a little lost amongst this other information but really really solid overall keep up the awesome work everybody these projects are looking fantastic and i'm super excited for all of you to have these awesome portfolio projects and hopefully find you uh, some new contract jobs freelance stuff or maybe even a new job if that's what you're looking for uh, so make sure to tune in tomorrow we are going to be wrapping up this project and building out our case study for this and show you how to present that work to make it look as good as possible. Uh, so with that, everybody stay safe, have a happy Halloween, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.